our topic today is the European Quarter. On the heart of this quarter, Moske Seyed Sultan Ali. Our topic today is on a map and a photo, and both were made in 1908, and the map will correct the photo. The map is made by Mr. Rashid al Khoja, first mayor of Baghdad in 1920. He had completed his higher education in Istanbul. In 1933, he held the position of Minister of Defense, and after that, he held many important positions, including Governor of Baghdad during the royal era. In 1908, Al-Khoja drew a map of Baghdad that I used while reading the book, The Province of Baghdad, Its Past, Its Present, Its Future, a book by Habib Shiha, which was published during the same year. And the photo of the book were taken by Habib Shiha. Habib immigrated from Syria to live in Baghdad and resided there for 40 years. He held many jobs there, including that of a clerk for a Swiss merchant residing in Baghdad. As he was fluent in French, he wrote his book in French, Baghdad's Province. In his book, he talks about the history of Baghdad, its past, its walls, its gates, and the Abbasid Caliphs, and about its present that is, in 1908, and about the industries and the crafts of Baghdad and its trade, and about the shrines, cemeteries, and funeral ceremonies. He researched import and export, agriculture, and trade in animals and livestock. He talked about Baghdad Berlin Railway and the life of the Bedouins in Mesopotamia. He also talked about public life in Baghdad. The book contains 12 photographs. The Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque is the one that received the most photos because it was located in the heart of the European quarter and among the consulates that were surrounding it. The European Quarter, or Diplomatic Quarter, is at the center of our subject, whether through images or a map. In Shiha's book, in the 10th chapter, and among the documentary images in the book, we stop at this photograph with the title Consulate of France and Consulate of Russia in Baghdad. In this photo, Shiha made a mistake in identifying the German consulate. He identified it as the Russian consulate. But since the consulate buildings have disappeared, I will use Al Khoja's map there. And also, in the photos taken at that time, observing the Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque, which still exists through the ages with its wonderful beauty. Today, I will limit the research to the area extending between the Scenic Bridge and between Al Ahrar Bridge. We start from the Scenic Bridge, and the first one we see is the British Consulate, or residence, whose name mentioned by Al Khoja on the map. We notice that Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque, standing with its white beauty between the two bridges. The neighborhood, as we know, is close to the Ashurja market. It is one of the oldest neighborhoods in the old city. In 1916, Rashid Street divided the old city of Baghdad, Rasaf. Baghdad, in 1908, was a maze of small alleys. The neighborhood brought together many minorities and components living in harmony and good understanding. And the building of the British residence, we can see it clearly from the bridge, and it still exists today. We can confirm it by its style and by its beautiful columns through which one can overlook the river. Today, it is the Institute of Music. Next to it is the Forum Theater, and the two houses belong to Mr. Abdurrahman al Naqib. And the British residence has many beautiful photographs. The building speaks of the beauty of the place and the beauty of the ship that was moored in front of it. We notice the great similarity between the building itself through the ages. It is the same. It can be identified by its arcades and also its windows. This is a photo taken from 
the roof of the British residency, from where the Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque can be seen. This is a photo taken from the roof of the British residence, but towards the south from where we can see the Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque. Next is the German consulate, which is incorrectly referred to in Russian. al Khoja. Mark it, it on the map with the number 61. It is adjacent to the French consulate. So we start with the German consulate, then the French consulate, the Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque, while the Russian consulate is in fact after the mosque, that is to the north of the mosque. What distinguishes the German consulate is that it has six arches in the middle and the three ventilation openings next to it. We also see two windows, a door, and part of the wooden supports of the balcony. Here is a postcard of the German consulate. We see the same distinctive architectural style in this photo. We recognize the German consulate through its six arches, ventilation openings, and louvered mishrabi. And next to it is the distinctive and advanced balcony and its distinctive wooden supports. And near by the boat dock. This is a postcard in which it is mentioned in French the consulate of the German Empire and here we see the distinctive balcony supports of the German consulate. Here we see the openings of the construction project of the boat dock of the German consulate. Here after completing its construction which is essentially a place for the people of Baghdad to enjoy the waters of the Tigris. It is distinguished by its magnificent balcony and supports. Next to it is the Consulate of France. We see the Consulate of Germany and its boat dock. And on the left side, we see part of the Consulate of France. Here is a photo taken from the building of the French Consulate. And we see the boat dock of the German Consulate and its garden. And it's a beautiful mishrabi in the background. You can see part of the buildings belonging to the British consulate appear at the beginning of El Sinek neighborhood. The photo was taken in January 1999. Here, the Al Khoja map shows the location of the Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque, just south of it, the French consulate, 63. And next to it, to the south, is the German consulate. Here, the two consulates are in harmony with the Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque and its beautiful boat dock and the boats that were anchoring in front of it. Next is the French consulate, which is adjacent to the mosque. It is considered one of the oldest consulates since its foundation dates back to 1742. It is indicated on the map by the number 63 and is adjacent to the Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque to the north and the German consulate to the south. Here we notice its distinctive architectural form with its arched windows and air vents below. We notice its location facing the boat dock, which distinguishes the Sayyid Sultan Ali Mosque. Here we notice an alley that separates it from the mosque. It is possible to see the second end of the alley on the other side. From the side of Al Rashid Street today, the French consulate was located next to the mosque and in the area of the boat dock. Here we see it a little in front of the German consulate and opposite the boat dock. It overlooks the river. Most French travelers mention it in their books and it's also a place where most of them stayed. At that time, the Tigris, it was commonly called the sea. It was the source of life and contained the most important means of transport in Iraq. We see the common means of transport of that time. The guffa, the boat, the ship, boat El Mheli and others. Here is another photo taken from the French consulate through which we can see the building of the German consulate, its mashrabi, and in the back, a part of the British residence. As for the door opening on Rashid Street, it had the beauty of a house in Baghdad overlooking al Umraba or Kar. The door of the French consulate on the other side was beautiful, and it was inside one of the alleys of Baghdad. The architectural style 
is that of a typical Baghdadi house with its central courtyard on which all the rooms of the house was overlooking and the beautiful wooden columns that we see on all floors. The characteristics of the diplomatic quarter changed when it was cut by a Rashid Street in 1916. After that, it remained neglected and unpaved and the war began. Then the quarter began to lose its consulates, which were replaced by hotels to become a tourist place. When the mosque was expanded later, after the consulates left the quarter, the house that was previously occupied by the French consulate was added to the mosque, and its place is today in the courtyard of the mosque's expansion. The mosque was expanded in the 1980s. After the 1920s, the place was transformed into a first-class hotel complex and became a purely tourist area. The place is beautiful, especially when snow fails in Baghdad, in almost rare cases, and it's always an invitation to capture a memory, even if it was from the French consulate to the German consulate, to record once again a snow day. What distinguished this time were the lanterns that were illuminating the dark paths, giving a special flavor to the road and a special flavor to the night and a happy opportunity for those who were waiting your arrival to become your shadow before it was confirmed by the lantern of the alley. The Mahile boats were resting in front of the mosque in its quiet boat dock as the sunset announces its arrival as the city prepares for its poetic evening and the darkness allows to observe the lights of the sky. Before sunset, the one who lit the lanterns would come to light the lamp so that we could experience its beauty of the pale yellow color whose fluctuating flame invites us to contemplate it for a little while before the occupations of another beautiful evening take over us. We see the French consulate on the other side of the river in another photo. The ancient Baghdad city was surrounded by palm groves and here we see Al Marab'a neighborhood in Al-Risaf. We see part of the minaret of Sayyid Sultan Ali in 1905. This alley later became a Rashid Street. As we mentioned, the French consulate is located next to the mosque and here you can see its door on the left in 1909. When a Rashid Street was built in 1915 and 16, a large part of the neighborhood was cut off so its tranquility and beauty were affected. The street remained incomplete from 1915 until its completion after the end of the First World War. During this period, the diplomatic quarter began to lose its appeal. There is not even a photo documenting the presence of consulates in this quarter after the construction of a Rashid Street. Walking through the alleys of Baghdad, I relieve the atmosphere of yesteryear with its windows, door, costumes and strange and wonderful wall. The consulate and the mosque have many photos on the other side of the river. They are clearly seen in this photo and from the beginning of dawn the constant movement of the river begins. For a world linked to the river, for the movement and transport of goods and for the river to become the world of the city, its life, its means of transport and its joy. When you get on the Gufwa, you have to get used to its constant rotation and become familiar with it, as if you were on a wheel that was rotating in the middle of the sea. As it turns, it rushes us into the world of an amusement park, and life in the neighborhood comes alive in the morning in the European quarter. And the Sayyid Ali Sultan Mosque remains connected to the river and its a small boat dock where the Mahilat boat are located. As for its door, its mashrabi and its ancient writings had disappeared. The mosque was affected by the opening of a Rashid Street, so much so that people defended the mosque in 1915. In 1920, work on a Rashid Street resumed. In 1934, the facade of the mosque and the old minaret were demolished. Its minaret was resembling the minaret of Mirjan Mosque. Its beautiful minaret has disappeared, as has the facade famous for its writing.
things. The minaret of the mosque blended into the landscape and blended into the palm groves that were surrounding the European quarter to add a beautiful Iraqi imprint. Of course, this old facade has nothing to do with the current facade of the mosque. During the reconstruction of the mosque, its features were changed according to the eras it went through, including the minaret. After the end of World War I, a Rashid Street was paved. Today's minaret is similar to the old one in terms of location, but it is different from before in terms of style and height, and it is separated from the mosque building. Today, it is possible to see the mosque from both bridges, and here we can see it from Sinek Bridge. This is the heart of the Mraba neighborhood and Ras al Qari. It is seen closer to the Al Ahrar Bridge, but without its boats and without its occupants, it is strangely silent. While the boat were an integral part of the mosque, while it was the life of the city, Today, it's its memory to tell us its ancient history and the location of neighboring buildings. Today, Sayyid Sultan Ali al has remained completely silent, as if it had been forgotten. Even though this al was purely diplomatic, it was inhabited by Baghdadi families in complete and very natural harmony. It's Mashrabiya that were embellishing its beautiful door, and all this beautiful painting disappeared with the minaret in 1935. Unfortunately, we were not able to preserve its beautiful facade in favor of 30 centimeters in favor of a Rashid Street. Today, when we walk around the neighborhood, we still we will see traces of this beautiful architectural style. As for its beautiful boat dock, it remains, but without the sailboats that were deposing their cargoes and leaning on its quiet boat dock. Its lively world, full of movement and life, has become a silent and a memory of an ancient area. Where are the boats of the port? Unfortunately, they are not here anymore. Immediately after the mosque, we see the building of the Russian consulate. The consulate has many photos and postcards, including from the river. Here is a postcard of Russian consulate. It also has a beautiful boat dock and it was overlooking the river. On the map, the Russian consulate is numbered 60. It is adjacent to the mosque on the north. On the other side, there is also a beautiful photo overlooking the alley of the mosque Sayyid Sultan Ali. In front is Al Murabha Garden. Behind it are Al Abba Khan and Al Qatar Khan neighborhood as mentioned on Mr. Rashid al Khoja's map. The aesthetics of the Iraqi house remain predominant, whether in the al Murabah neighborhood, where we are today, or in another neighborhood. According to the map, right next to the Russian consulate is the Spanish consulate, and is numbered 64. Much later, the consulate buildings remain, exist for a long time. The quarter gradually turned into high and hotels. After that, the European quarter turned into a tourist district and a complex of high-end hotels. After that, the Russian consulate was demolished and Orizdi Park was built in its place. The neighborhood disappeared, but it remains in the memories. You only need to take a look from the river or walk through the alley of the mosque to feel its beautiful history. It is as if it were a European cuisine with a pure Arab flavor. The palm trees, the dress, and the architecture are purely Arab and dominates the place and even gives it a great beauty. It also discovered in his book that he had also made another mistake in another photograph, this time outside the European neighborhood. In the photo we see the symmetry of the shrine, Sheikh Omar Sahrawardi, but he made a mistake in identifying the photo. The caption under the photo mentions Princess Zubaydah, while it is the shrine of Sheikh Omar Sahrawardi. 
The beautiful thing is that both vaults are still standing to this day, and they are similar in their Seljuk style honeycomb vaulting. Perhaps he was mistaken because of the great similarity in their architecture. Both vaults date from the Abbasid era. This architectural style was the style followed in the city of Baghdad. The proof of this is that Mahmoud al-Wasati handwritten and painted the book of Maqamat al-Hariri in 1237. He drew the style of the vaults at that time and it was precisely the style followed at that time. These vaults allow the house to be ventilated and illuminated beautifully. In each room there is an opening so that the ceiling becomes a beautiful source of ventilation and lighting. So our tour ends with photos of Habib Shiha and the map of Rashid al khoj and their intersection in the European quarter Al Amraba. And the European quarter continues to be beautiful despite of passage of days. <laughs>